what according to you are the top five qualities you know that lnd managers must possess to make hybrid workspace successful for uh, all employees hmm okay so let me at least uh, pick uh, pick three of them for you uh, uh, uh i would start by uh, the same thing back to basics what has always been relevant for for learning being aligned to strategic business objectives right um because uh, there is so much of uh, a possibility out there of where lnd professionals can dabble they can get lost yeah i recall that when i we were setting up an it academy at my uh, previous organization and we were working with leaders we came up with no less than 80 areas right that the academy could actually do capability building work in because the it landscape was so vast now obviously we had to pick what will make the greatest impact to the company and what it is it that will not happen automatically through use of the ecosystem around and that's the 10 areas we picked and we focused our uh, our our efforts on yeah and that paid business results for the for the organization so that's the the first thing that i i would say being very strategically aligned to the business requirement out there and making sure that learning investments are going in that area right uh, i will in fact uh, add another nugget to that uh, hardik to say that you know uh, i and many other uh, lnd uh, leads have been scrapping a, uh, some parts of the executive education policy right for for years people are being nominated to various ivy league institutes for short duration executive education programs couple of days sort of you know when i as well as many other people have actually gone to see okay what is the difference that comes from this right is it uh, uh, do people perform better or do they get promoted faster do they stay longer you don't find uh, for a good set of these programs uh, uh, any actual return therefore our do while people love the programs right but our uh, duty as the as uh, uh, office bearers of the organization is to redirect those resources to other things which are showing results like technical certifications right so uh, this is the first area definitely i would say uh, hardik second area i will say is deep expertise in learning transfer right um you know our colleagues in marketing and finance right for instance uh um, not that they just throw jargon but they deeply understand how brand building works and how people buy and they bring that knowledge to 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 leadership when they uh, bring their marketing plans right uh even within our own hr function i would say that rewards people right compensation and benefit specialists right they have structures they they understand about uh, you know about comp ratios and medians uh right and they can explain to people how incentive schemes are really driving behaviors and leaders listen i think learning professionals also can't just come with common sense they have to come with deep understanding about how learning transfer happens how do neural pathways get created in uh, in someone's mind which is essentially how learning takes uh, takes place uh, how does uh, uh, learning take place in a guest hall that is in a in a interconnected ecosystem and not in a, a, a unidirectional uh a uh, way so this piece of deep expertise in learning transfer is the second i would bring to you and third uh, hardik i will return to the same theme we have been talking about continuously understanding ai and machine learning understanding how to steadily improve those algorithms so that you can uh, direct the right nuggets of the vast universe of learning content which is out there to your learners at the, the right time these are three pieces that i will say are crucial for learning and development managers to deeply understand and have deep expertise in to be able to uh, demonstrate their functions value to business